Last episode could have ended in a better way. We got the Bundesliga, we got the Golden Boots, we got the DFB Pokal, we got the Player of the Season as well. And lastly, we also got the new record for highest goal scorer in the Bundesliga in one season. And look at this, Zan has hit an impressive 50 senior appearances for Dortmund. Then Borussia Dortmund have won the Bundesliga title at the end of the season, blah, blah, blah. Um, the Bundesliga player of the tournament has been announced as, as Dortmund Zahn. They were the team of the week as well. Then one of the one for the ages, Konrad Zahn awarded Golden Boots following his fantastic season with Borussia Dortmund, which saw him score 43 goals in 34 matches. We are all over the news, bro. Zahn is unplayable, smashing every goal scoring record this season, <laughs> bro. Like we are all over, we are all over the news. It's crazy. So, anyways, with all that behind us, we have the World Cup. The men's international cup as it's called in this episode we are in group c and we have croatia northern ireland and morocco so um croatia and morocco are going to be the tougher openers but, but we're going up against um northern ireland first so i think i'm going to simulate that match because i really shouldn't have a problem with that then i'm going to play the highlight of the match against um morocco but if we actually win our first two matches i won't actually bother playing the match against croatia because i really want to like focus more on the round of 16 so i'm going to be hoping that we actually do really well in the first two matches last episode we got a hat trick and a 10.1 match and i forgot because i'm so bloody forgetful sorry about that i forgot to allocate the skill points to my player so that is two allocations my finish is already really good but i can still work on it this gets my finishing all the way to 90 seven that would be crazy the volleys also will go to 99 but i don't think i want to work on my um shooting here let's look at the dribbling real quick so our dribbling is on 90 hmm i think now that i think about it i want to work on my weaker foot we are two we're only two star that is crazy that is actually crazy i'm going to take it up to a three star that's one and then the second one i would want to get it to four star but i can't actually um do this because that's like basically two skill points in one so i will just um do something else i want to do something with the dribbling and i think i can get my skill moves up to five star but i'm not really you know what let's just do it <laughs> let's do some fancy moves even though i don't really know any five star skills but i still feel like it, it will be fun to try and learn some all right we are here at the world cup this is going to be our first competitive international match and of course the coach is going to play us because, I mean, we're pretty much, we're most likely the best player in Germany, if I'm not wrong. But let's just do the training real quick and go into the match. Alright, Germany versus Northern Ireland first. I am going to be simulating this match, but let's look at the team. We are playing striker, obviously. Musiala, Vert, and Brandt are going to be in the middle. Then Goretzka and Aldrich are going to be the defensive midfielders. Then Raum, Kimmich are the fullbacks. It's actually a really good team. It's well-rounded. What the fuck? Florian Vert is 92 rated. That is crazy. So we're not even the highest rated in the team. I swear to god i would never have realized that that is that is quite mental but anyways i mean the team's really good so we should have what it takes to win this um we don't score brandt gets two goals in the first in the first match that is really good for him really good performance from julian brandt there or is he julian brandt i don't know how to pronounce it but this one against morocco morocco did really well in the last world cup so i'm going to play the highlight of this because i do not trust um, the simulation to actually do a good job here but if we win this match then we wouldn't play the match against croatia we're going to simulate that one as well so let's really try our best to win this i'm pretty sure that the german team is like way way better than this morocco team like in terms of stats on paper and all but i mean anything can still happen we're talking about football here all right we're starting with an attack and we're looking like it's good for a power shot i'm always i'm always going to try the power shots but psych oh my god that was brilliant that was brilliant actually the they removed my celebration from player caramel i don't know why like the one where he goes like this they removed it i don't know why they did but um i don't have the celebration right now but i think i'm going to go with the one i won maybe i think that's what i'm going to do next they're going to pass it to me any please nice nice N power shots definitely it's no way the keeper is going to catch that no way in hell the keeper is going to catch that and that is a really really good shot next up we have a chance for a hat trick and i'm going to be trying the power shot here again or i could try and maybe do a one two nice oh we freaking miss it how the hell do we miss that all right we have a crossing opportunity we're the ones with the ball here and let's see if i can do something rather sensible Maybe that is brilliant. That is brilliant. Oh my god. I do not. 
that is so good so two goals and one assist for conrad zan jr in this in this match we are absolutely lighting these guys the fuck up though and we have a counter attack musiala you're looking to be in a really good position and let's see if i can maybe try and get you on jesus they have no bloody chills with that musiala nice boy i think i'm upside there <gasps> oh my god oh my god i was not oh my god that has to be the that is the halal goal isn't it that is the bloody halal goal that's the that is mad like i'm so fucking excited about that <laughs> bro all right so we have we're actually lighting these guys the fuck up man jamal and i just i just wasted too much time with the pass there well anyway the match ended 4-0 we got a hat trick and an assist so that is a 10 point match rating so we're going to increase our stats a bit more that's if i remember i really hope i do remember just to be sure we got a 10 point right yeah we do 10.0 match rating that is that is good i absolutely own that pitch against morocco yes you did brother that was such a good match so we won two matches so we really don't need to play this match against croatia i'm just going to simulate the training real quick let's take a look at the standings we are on six points croatia is on three if we beat croatia and morocco win their match against northern ireland then croatia is going to be out of the world cup that is goodbye to them so if the only way to stay in the game is if we do win them i don't think morocco is going to be scoring like more goals than us i mean if they if morocco wins northern ireland by like 10-0 then they probably might have a chance to go ahead of croatia i don't think croatia is going to beat us like it by a really really large margin let's look at other groups though italy and netherlands are through finland and mexico are through oh my god england doesn't even get through to the freaking round of 16 that is crazy then poland and spain haven't played but like they're on top no i'll look at all this when we're done with the with the last match all right so um let's hope that we can like do like a flawless victory here in the group stage jump to result and we do wow we score a goal conrad jr conrad jr we get a brace so that is five goals in the world cup already five goals in the world cup group stage rumors doing the rounds that dortmund zan isn't putting in the graphs on the training ground what the fuck we're literally in the world cup right now what what are these guys even talking about but anyways we're through to the round of 16 i forgot to allocate the skill points to my player but we did get another 10 point match rating in that match against uh, what's their face i'm um, croatia so i'm going to like do three allocations so um, i don't want to renew my contract majority of you from the last video said that i should go to city so the city offer the city contract is what i'm going to be signing so as of now we are officially a manchester city player even though we're currently in the world cup i think we're still going to get the cutscene of us getting into the city grounds i think and yes we do stop player cutscene but something is weird this is not pep that is not bloody pep i don't know what the fuck is going on because <laughs> what isn't that supposed to be pep though like wh who the fuck is that there's an imposter in manchester city and then there's a german oh my god that's just fucking weird <laughs> there's this Germ germany logo at the back maybe it's because i'm german i don't know but that's just glitched because we're in the world cup right now but we're going to be staying in manchester city till the end of my of this particular series conrad zan is still going to continue his own storyline is still going to continue but i have something planned for him like i said in the last episode so you guys should definitely stay tuned subscribe to my channel to find out um like the video as well and uh, yeah, let's go into the next match of the um, World Cup. But before we do that, though, the standings, I'm really, really interested. So Italy, Netherlands, Finland, Mexico, sadly for England, they bow out of the champions of the World Cup. Spain and Ghana go through. Poland and Norway, sad, sad for them. Um, Portugal and United States, obviously, I would have expected that. Then Ukraine and France, Argentina is out of the World Cup. She, I don't think Messi is even played in that. So sadly for them. But that's a really, that's really crazy that Ukraine will go ahead of france and argentina that is that is mad that's pretty much it for the teams that made it through and we are going up against iceland in the group stage here the iceland national team is not really that strong a team in the in the world i'm going to simulate it then i'm going to play the highlights of the next one then i'll play the full match for the semi-finals and the finals i could have sworn poland got knocked out and i could have sworn england got knocked out when did the third team start entering that is weird well anyways italy versus argentina even Argentina too is here. What the hell? All right, so I'm going to be simulating this match and it's going to be crazy that I'm doing this. In the round of 16 of the World Cup, I'm simulating a match. That is mental. But I'm going to like keep my fingers crossed here and hope that we do get the win. Yes, we do. All right, Brandt. 
All right, so we do get a goal. We missed a penalty. That is crazy. Brown gets another brace. I mean, he's actually doing really well. He gets a freaking hat trick in this match. He gets a bloody hat trick in this match. That is good for him. And he's the top scorer in the World Cup with eight goals. We have six. That is actually mental from him, to be honest. William Brown going crazy. But in the quarterfinals, Netherlands going up against England, Spain versus Argentina, Mexico versus France, Germany versus Portugal. We're going up against Portugal. This is going to be a tough match. But I'm going to be playing the highlights because I do not want to play the full match. I want to play just two full matches. Post on social media about how happy you are to be playing on top of the game. Um Brown did majority of the work, so I'm going to go for the heartbeat option here. Thanks to all my Manchester City friends. Without them, the victory against Arsenal wouldn't be possible. That is just dumb. So they apparently they haven't fixed that. Victory for Portugal over Ghana. Pep is here, but I don't know why the player, why the figure they showed, the character they showed wasn't Pep. I don't know what the hell that's about. Anyways, we should be focusing on the World Cup right now. We have the match against Portugal. And Portugal is a really good team, even without Ronaldo being in the squad anymore. Because I think now, I don't think he's going to be playing anymore. Because his rating has probably gone all the way down if he hasn't retired already. But, I mean, we should still come out with a with the bag here, man. We should still come out with the bag. So, I'm going to be enhancing the passing. And let's hope that we can come out with the win. All right, first order of business, we have a free kick and i'm thinking roberto carlos right now i'm thinking roberto freaking carlos right now let's hope that we can that's the i think that's so much power oh my god that's too much oh oh that was really close that was really freaking close man all right so portugal counter attack she's not looking very good um but we should be able to like code this right to sort this out rather all right Kimmich, thank you. That's nice. I think I made a mistake there. They have another counter attack. So my job right now is to hold this lead as much as possible. Honestly, I can't remember when I scored. I can't remember. I can't recall when I scored. I don't think I scored in this match, but the game has done me a really good favor there. Okay, block all their passing options. That's not good. He's too free. Oh, no. Good save from Ter Stegen there. Okay, come on. Can you give me like one attack, please? What the fuck is going on? And annoyingly, what we now get is a bloody... Is a bloody free kick. That doesn't make any bloody sense. We're still on 1-0. I don't know what the hell is going on in this match, but this looks like a really good chance for Konrad Zahn to score a goal. Brilliant. <laughs> Brilliant. I was expecting the keeper to dive at the face, but he didn't. And well, that is... That is one extra goal for Corazan there. I think we have one more chance. There is a corner for Portugal, but we pretty much already won this match already. But let's hope that we can get a corner out of this. I really doubt that that will be the case, but yeah, exactly. We almost got it. Bruno Fernandes. Nice. All right, so that's the end of the match. We win it 2-0, and we are through to the semi-finals of the... What do you call it? Of the World Cup. Yeah, I was right. I don't actually recall scoring the first goal. So, I mean, that was lucky for us. I don't know who scored the goal, though. Maybe it was us. Maybe it was Brant, because Brant had been doing really, really well. Next up, though, we have France in the semi-finals of the World Cup. This is going to be a really tough match. I'm going to be playing the full match of this one. And let's hope that we can get a win. All right. So, avoid losing the match. Have a dribble success rate of at least 30%. I'm going to avoid losing the match. Because I feel like, I mean, if we if we don't win this, we're, we're, it's bust. So there's really no point. I really hope that the team has what it takes to, like, counter this front side. Our team is actually really good. But the French team is also also insane, man. They have Dembele, they have Koeman, they have Mbappe, most importantly. But I just need to be able to, like... They're obviously holding the high line. Musiala, can I get this to you? Yes, I can. Or I actually can't. But, I mean, it was, it was, it was decent. All right. Counter attack time. Nice pass. All right. I hope they do something with this. And of course they don't. Of course they fucking don't. To be honest, sometimes I really can't wait to like start a normal career mode save. Because this shit gets really fucking annoying, man. That is a nice, nice. Okay, Conrad. Come on. Nice from, from Brant. Okay, so I'm going to help you out here. Get it back to me. And I don't know what the fuck I do there. Okay, we have a really good... Nice. Brilliant, someone. Please tell me that's not offside. Shoots it, and it wasn't offside, but I mean, the defenders closed him down so fast there. Well, that is... That is a, a good a good show of our talents there. Let's hope we can see more of those and, you know, get a couple goals or two in this match. Don't let him shoot, please. Don't let him... Don't let him shoot. 
Okay, that is nice. Come on, give it to me. Nice. Guess it's someone. I, I mean, he made his shot there. I don't know why he did, but I mean, it was really, really far out. So I was quite ambitious. All right, the first half has gone by. Not a lot has happened. Nice. Gets it out wide. Gets it back to me. Thank you. Please. Nice. And that is the goal. That is the goal that I have been looking for all this time. And what a time to call my life, man. All right, they are looking pretty dangerous here. I need the defenders to do something about this. All right, that is brilliant. That is brilliant. Brant, I mean, you weren't running fast enough, bro. And what the fuck is that? I mean, we have two options. We either score or hold this lead. I would like us to score because it will be better than trying to hold the lead. But I feel like the way we're playing right now, the, the way the defense is going, whoops, the way the defense is going, we should not be, we should be able to like hold it quite well. But I'm pretty sure I have already jinxed that, like with just that I have said. Nice from Kimmich. Nice, nice, nice. All right. So come on, Musiala. Thank you. Okay, nice. Florian, thank you. And that is a really good, really good save. Oh no, oh no. And that is a good save from Ter Stegen. That is a good save from Ter Stegen. But please get this out. Nice, all right. We are here to support the defenders. And we have a really good counter attack. Please get to me. Oh my God. Oh my God, that was like the easiest thing you had to do in your life. And you just fucking feel that. Nice from Musiala, but please tell me you still have this, right? Florian. Nice, please score this, and you don't. You, you still do? Brilliant. All right, so we still get the assist, and that was a really good goal. A really good pass to put in Florian Wirtz, and I mean, I expected him to score one time, but Bro wasn't able to, but I mean, he was there on the rebound, and that is what matters, the fact that he still put the ball in the back of the net. Oh, that is a really good save. That is a really good save. I was so speechless there, but I think that we're actually quite quite safe. Right, am I outside? I am. Can I shoot? I was offside, right? Definitely. All right. So, I don't know why they didn't call it, because they usually always call it immediately. Usela just, like, does nonsense there. I don't know what the hell he did, but... I mean, okay. I mean, we pretty much already won this match. We're through to the final. There's no way um, France is going to be doing anything important in this match to get themselves back in it. So, two minutes left for stoppage time. And we are pretty much through. I mean, they can hold the ball all they want. I don't give a fuck. I mean, it will be nice for the referee to blow the whistle. Thank you. All right. So, 2-0 to um, Germany. We did really well. I wanted to keep it a surprise on who we might be facing in the, in the finals of the World Cup. But I'm thinking Argentina. I want it to be Argentina because, I mean, that would be fun because I want what happened to France to happen to them. You know, you know, France won it in 2018, then they faced Argentina in 2022. So I want, um, you know, them to face us in shit with Netherlands. Netherlands and Argentina have this beef. I don't even understand, but Netherlands got the better of them this time. So now we are going up against the Dutch in the finals of the World Cup. The last time they were in the finals was 2010 when they lost to Spain. So they are going to, I mean, come hard at us this time because they've been, they've tasted it in this century. And for them to not win it is going to be crazy. I saw something about the finals though. And it was really, really, it was a cool graphic here. Once some closer to the final, bring it on. All right, so that's what I said. Once in a lifetime, there's room for improvement. Why is that guy angry though, Elia Klinger? What did I do to you, bro? Germany versus um, Netherlands. Let's look at the kit real quick. Do I have... What's the color of the second kit? It's purple. Yeah, I wouldn't want to wear that. Let's just stick with the white for this. And well, let's hope that we can get the win in this match. If you have enjoyed the video so far, make sure to hit the like button and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And let's jump into this match and hope that we can get ourselves a win. It's actually getting pretty hot in here. I don't know what's up with my AC. I'm going to enhance the don't lose the match. Um, avoid defeat rather. And well, here we go. The finals of the 2026 FIFA World Cup. And let's hope that we can repeat the performance against France and get ourselves to lift the World Cup as an 18 year old. I think we're going to be the youngest ever player to lift the World Cup. Nice. All right, so I am here. Can I make... Well, I mean, my weekend isn't really all that, so I probably should have done something else. But I mean, I, I need to. 
I actually need to work on it to be honest, but I don't know. I can't remember if I have a skill point to use or not. If I do have one and I see it in the edits when I'm editing, then I'm going to. Um. Okay, that's nice. I forgot what I'm trying to say. Oh god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Look at what he just scored! Look at what he just scored! That is insane! That goal is bloody insane, bro. What the fuck? I mean, all the way from there, he went past the defender. One touch control. That is giving me fucking Seishiro Nagi vibes. Oh my god. That was insane. What a goal. What a goal. Okay, come on. That's really good defending from the boys there. Okay, let's see what you can do. Get this to me. Nice. Masiala, are you ready? Okay, back to me. Nice. Shit. Alright, so we do get a free kick there, but I'm going to try and see if I can get this to the far post. Hopefully it works out. I mean, someone does get a header on it, but it goes wide. The keeper had that covered, like, really. Well, I mean, it was a good, it was a good try. Okay, Marlon is trying to be a problem in my life once again. But, I mean, oh, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Nice interception from Schotterberg. That is really good. Alright, nice. Okay, what can we do here? We can enter brilliant maybe and oh my god we deserve to score that we deserve to freaking score that man nice and we weren't even offside that's the thing we weren't even offside that's the thing all right so that is really really good from us for a start man man <laughs> I actually end up with the ball there. That is crazy. But that is a yellow card for Tijani Reinders. Nice. All right. So that is the end of the first half. We already beat the record of the youngest player to score in the World Cup. I think Pele and Mbappe were 19 when they did it. Really can't remember, but I think they were 19. And we are still 18. So, oh my God. I just remember that um, if we get a trophy, we get three points. I just, I just fucking remember that. So we won the Bundesliga and the DRB Pokal. So we have six points that we're supposed to allocate to our player. And if we win the World Cup as well, that's going to be five. So we're going to be like a 92, 93 rated player at the end of this episode. If we win the World Cup. Our Netherlands looking really, really um, promising here. But um, it goes out for a corner for them. And I think that will be the best chance for a counter. But they are going to be playing it short. Never mind, they aren't. Um, Van Dijk doesn't really do a lot a lot there so go kick for us all right here they come again and i'm really hoping that nothing actually comes of this they pass it back to xavi the young's on the ball and that's offside that is good for us don't let them score please nice block all right they're still they're still with the ball though they're still with possession and i need you guys to be more aggressive here come on nice 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 okay julian i don't think you're offside there that is brilliant Oh, that is brilliant. Can I pass this too? Please score it. Oh, you don't. You do. All right, so that is another assist. And we get another 10 points to the fucking um, World Cup. Why did I swear there? I don't know. Sorry about that. We did really well there to hold up Dumfries and then get all the way to the line. I mean, um, that's the second time that Florian Briggs is not getting it like one time. But I mean, he's still able to get the rebound. And that's what I really like about him. Oh, no. All right, that's another good block. That's another good block. Right, they're looking very dangerous and Marlin, that's a really good shot but you're saying he was able to get down just in time I think okay so they're going short possibly but i feel like we should let's just like get in a good position for any sort of counter or anything like that nice nice okay free him up brand i don't know why the hell you passed back you were in such a good position there he was in such a good position there and that is just the end of the counter just like that you still go wide though. That is a really good pass. He gets back to me. Nice. And please score it. Shit. He wasn't able to get the rebound. But I mean, we're still with the ball here. Please, shit. Shit, shit, shit. We're upside. That's sad. Please let us keep the clean sheets at least. Oh no, fucking hell, man. Xerxes is able to get the goal for them. And Bro's neck just went to the fucking net. What? 
But anyway, I don't think they're going to be able to um, do anything about this, though. Nice. 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 Oh, shit. Well, we lose the ball there. We lose the ball. We lose the ball, do we? Yeah, we do. All right, so we have won the FIFA Men's World Cup. It's called Men's National Cup in the game, but obviously it's the World Cup. And oh my god, an 18 year old. We have broken yet another record. For the record, I do not know if um, Pele was 18 when he won it or Mbappe. I think they were 19. I'm very sure they were 19. I'm 95% sure they were 19, but our player is 18. That one is for sure. But I think we've broken yet another record and we are proving that we are the next GOAT. We are the actual legit wonder kid. Germany won the World Cup in 2014 and now they are winning it yet again in 2026. I don't know what the game is showing me. I feel like we're supposed to be saying something pretty important here. But this is... Oh my god, we're going to miss them lifting it. Oh my god. We actually missed them lifting the trophy. That is crazy. And what the fuck is that trophy? <laughs> oh, so they can't actually put the actual World Cup. I was expecting the World Cup, to be honest. Maybe that's why we're hiding it from me. But I mean, that is still pretty good. We win the World Cup. Oof. That was a tough match. It really wasn't that tough, to be honest. But we did really, really well. But this touch, this touch is magical. This touch is insane. And raw. I can't believe that we actually got the goal there. We're far post keeper. had no chance with that. And oh, that is such, that is such a good goal, man. So yes, that is yet another trophy for us. And we're going to be looking at allocating the skill points right now. Um, three for the Bundesliga three for the DFB Pokal, five for the World Cup, and um, I don't think we've got a 10-point match rating there, so, I'm, so it's just um, six plus five, 11, 11 in total, so we're going to be warm for next season, we're going to be insane. All right, I'm going to work on the freaking accuracy, that is one. 11 points is crazy, man. Heading accuracy, two. Um, volleys, one. Finishing, two, that is four points. Finishing again. Um, that is five points used already. Um, penalties, six. What's next? Passing. I don't really need crossing like that though. Um, vision and curve, seven. Um, I, I think I need to work on my dribbling and attacking position. Eight. Um, what else? Ball control. Nine. Where the fuck do I get my um, weaker foot though? There you go. Weaker foot on one. On four now. That is ten. Then one more. Where's the other weaker foot thing? So we, I can't get my weaker foot to... That's crazy though. I can't get it to five. That is actually mental. But short pass and long pass, I'm going to get those up to um, whatever they are, 91 or 93 now. So that is good. So I think we are going to be on a 94 now. So we're going to be a 94 rated player for our first season in Manchester City. My camera just died, so sorry about that. But I mean, we're already at the end of the episode. Thank you guys for watching. If you have enjoyed it, make sure to hit the like button and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you in my next video. Peace. Venture.